good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or... Maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect. After two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? Are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. Look. About the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes. It's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where... my eyes do that freaky black eternity thing. Of course he did. 
I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose, but sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. Goddess, you were dead. I got better. This time, but you're going to leave again. When your team is ready, you'll leap through the Omega-4 Relay. I spent two years mourning you. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? I'd have to have something special to come back to. I'm open to suggestions. How about... soon, Liara. <laughs>